Let's start listing our first product on Amazon. The first thing we need to do is create a product in the Magento catalog. We want to fill in all the necessary information on the product page, such as name, SKU, weight, price, maybe special price, quantity. Add an image and save the product. Now that we have our product created, it's time to configure M2E Pro. The first thing to do is register our M2E Pro license. You can fill in all relevant information and click Confirm. You select which marketplace you'd like to list your products on. In this case, we're going to select Australia. We are now going to link our M2E Pro account to our Amazon account and choose which marketplace we're going to associate this account to. We now have to get the pertinent access data from our Amazon account and put it into M2E Pro. We can click on Get Access Data and click onto our Amazon Seller Central account. You will then come to an Amazon Web Service page. All the information will be pre-populated in terms of application name and developer account number. Click Next, agree to the terms of service and licensing and click Next again. Once we have our Merchant ID and Authorization token, we can copy this information into M2E Pro settings. We can now move on to creating our listing and begin to create our new listing. Choose a title for this listing and choose your Magento store view. Click on next step in the top right. Our next options are our selling settings. We're going to map our SKU and various settings that are needed for this listing. We also want to create our selling format and synchronization policies. The selling format policy contains pricing and quantity related data for the items which will be listed on Amazon. Title your selling format policy as necessary and choose the settings that best suit your needs. Once you're done, click save at the top right hand side of your screen and choose the selling format policy. Our next step is to create a synchronization policy. The synchronization policy contains rules and settings which determine the behavior of listings on Amazon. Choose the settings that best fit your business needs and title your selling policy as needed. Click Save once you've completed this step and choose the synchronization policy which we have created. Click Next Step. We're now going to define the search settings for choosing an ASIN number when listing the product. Choose the settings that best fit your needs. Once you've completed this, choose Next Step. We are finally ready to list our product on Amazon. We have two choices in how we want to list our products. We can choose from a product list or from categories. In this case, we're going to choose product list. Now select the product that you've just created and continue. It will ask whether you want to search for existing Amazon products and just click continue. Amazon requires you to have a description policy to create a new ASIN number. Click on edit and add a new description policy. Name your policy and select the category accordingly. Choose the product type for this description policy and map the UPC to your Magento attribute. In the definition tab, you will want to map all required fields to your corresponding Magento attributes. In the specifics tab, depending on the category and product type that you have chosen, you will be provided with different item specifics for your products. Fill in all necessary information, then click Save and Close. Now you can assign the policy you've just made to the listing, then click Continue. Click List Added Products Now. We have successfully listed our first product on Amazon. 
Next, we're going to show you how an Amazon purchase comes through M3 Pro into Magento. We can see the order by clicking into the order screen. Clicking on the order will show us the details of the purchase which was made on Amazon. Last but not least, once the order has shipped, we can mark it as shipped inside of M3 Pro. Remember, I always recommend you check onto your Amazon seller account for looking at your shipping settings, things like promotions. These settings are outside of M3 Pro. To register to sell on Amazon, go to the Amazon homepage, scroll down to the bottom and click Sell on Amazon. Now you can go ahead and fill out the form to get started. This video has been brought to you by InDemand at M2E Pro.